Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, SAIL joins hands with Airport Authority under Uran for air connectivity development. Own and internalize the bigger goals of the organization exhorts Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO RSP, in a session of Tal Mail. And 19th state level Natak Mahotsav, organized by Swasti Jankar, inaugurated. And now the news in detail. Three steel cities of Steel Authority of India Limited sale, Raukela, Bokaro and Burnpur, belonging to the states of Odisha, Jharkhand and West Bengal respectively, will soon prominently feature on the aviation map of India. Steel Authority of India Limited sale and Airports Authority of India AAI have signed a MOU on utilization of sales Raukela, Bukaro and Burnpur airstrips under the Regional Connectivity Scheme RCS Uran, a flagship project of Government of India. The RCS Uran scheme launched by Ministry of Civil Aviation MOCA envisages enhancing the regional air connectivity by providing support in terms of infrastructure and other facilities. SAIL, which has actively engaged in many national development schemes and projects like Make in India, Swachh Bharat, etc., has once again taken the lead and partnered in the Uran scheme. Under the MOU, AAI as an implementation agency under RCS Uran would be executing the required works before commencement of RCS flights at all these three airports. Eventually, AAI will operate and manage airport operations for Burnpur, Raukela and Bukaro Airport on behalf of SAIL for three years. Start of operations at Raukela, Bukaro and Burnpur airports under the RCS Uran would immensely benefit the citizens of these cities through better connectivity and also speed up the developmental activities in the region. After the RCS Uran flights become operational from Raukela, Bukaro and Burnpur, it will also help in augmenting to and fro mobility of employees of SAIL at faster rate from respective plants. Own and internalize the bigger goals of the organization, said Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO Raukela Steel Plant RSP, while addressing at the 13th session of Tal Mail held at HRD Center on 24th April. Mr. P.K. Pradhan, EDPNA, Mr. Shubhendra Das, ED Works, and Mr. Rajiv Agarwal, ED Projects, was also present on the dais. The Tal Mail Initiative, launched under the guidance of Mr. Ashwini Kumar in January 2017, has been designed to establish a direct channel of communication between the CEO and the young executives who are at the implementation level of action plans. Around 100 executives from various units of the plant attended the current workshop. Referring to the goal cascading workshop conducted in the new financial year, the CEO said that the targets can be achieved if the bigger goals of the organization are divided to sub-goals on month, week, day and shift basis. Mr. Kumar emphasized upon the need of an attitudinal shift from complaining to owning, from shirking to decision making, from firefighting to meticulous planning, from seeking direction to seeking support from the higher ups. He also reiterated the need of improving quality of products, preventive maintenance and proactive planning. In the interaction session that followed, 
participants discussed various issues impacting the performance of the plant and also gave suggestions regarding improving the systems and procedures. The CEO as well as the executive directors interacted candidly pertaining on each point and gave the assurance that every feasible issue would be taken care of. Mr. Sagar Mahanti, DGM CPTI, welcomed the gathering and also proposed a vote of thanks. The Tal Mail Initiative has strengthened the sense of ownership and empowerment amongst the executives working in the lower rungs of the hierarchy as they are now getting an opportunity to discuss their ideas and problems freely with the top management. The 19th state level Natak Mahotsav organized under the aegis of Swasti Jankar, a leading socio-cultural organization of the steel city, was inaugurated on 22nd April amidst fanfare at Civic Center. Mr. P. K. Pradhan, EDPNA, graced the inaugural function as the chief guest. Renowned Odyssey exponent Guru Anjana Panigrahi was the guest of honor. The dignitaries lighted the ceremonial lamp to mark the beginning of the festival. In his address, Mr. Pradhan commended the efforts of the organization for conducting the state level event every year. He further said that Raukela has become the epicenter of art and culture in the state due to the keen interest of the artists and art loving Raukelites. He reiterated the support of RSP for enriching art and culture in the steel city. The chief guest felicitated eminent drama director Mr. Manoj Patnaik on the occasion. The inaugural evening witnessed a spellbinding performance of artists from Manan Natya Sangstha in the Odia play Pasanda Pala Bhuta, which was highly appreciated by the audience present on the occasion. Mr. Mahendra Patnaik, President Swasti Jankar, welcomed the gathering. Mr. Rajiv Pani, General Secretary of the organization, read out the annual report, while Ms. Anvesha Abhipsa Pani anchored the show. And that's all for now. Namaskar.